Hey, what's up guys? Today's video topic, fabrics and upholstery. Today we're gonna to show you guys all of our top tips, tricks, and techniques on how to restore your fabrics and upholstery to brand new, so stay tuned. You don't wanna miss out on these incredible results. What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today, our point of topic is fabrics and upholstery. So right here we have these seats from this van right here behind me. So these seats, they're extremely dirty, even though they may not look dirty from your point of view. If you look up close, they're very dirty. They have a lot of body oils and grime embedded within the fibers, there's stains. And you can definitely tell that on some of the areas on this lighter color fabric, there's some darker areas and lighter areas. And our mission today is to restore this to brand new and get that light look because we wanna restore the original look of the seats. So right now we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So as you guys can see right here in the front, you'll have some areas on the right side of the seat which aren't necessarily super bad. I don't think they're really bad. So I'm gonna go over two different kind of cleaning procedures and two different chemicals that you would use to clean this kind of uh, upholstery. So on the right side, you have a more or less dirty side. Now this side doesn't look too bad. And on the left side, you'll see right here that there's a ton of stains. There's heavier like grime along this side piece right here on the bolster. And this is kind of, you know, known because, you know, as you can imagine, you're sweating, your arms are kind of like hitting this area and all your body oils that collect on this area, they're gonna show right here the most. As well as the armrest right here, even though it has a tear right here, we're just gonna do our best to stay away from that and just give this area a nice deep clean and look, check this out the top part is very dirty and collected with body oils whereas the uh, the inner part of it it's not really dirty at all so right now we're going to start off on your right side which is the less dirty side we're going to grab some fabric clean upholstery shampoo and our spinner multi-surface drill brush all right guys so right here i have my bottle of fabric clean and i have it also in a spray bottle the reason for it is because I have my fabric clean right here diluted to a 20 to one ratio, just because fabric clean is a shampoo. The last thing that you wanna do is just pour it straight onto your seats because it's a thick substance. So in order to properly use this product, you wanna dilute it. Now, in this case, 20 to one is great for general purpose cleaning, such as this right side right here, just because it's not so dirty. And if you do need some extra cleaning strength, you can also dilute it to an eight to one ratio. And you can also pick up one of our secondary dilution sprayer bottles that have all the dilution ratios right here labeled for you to make it easy for you and so that you preserve your product. Now, to start off this process, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by spraying a fine mist onto the area that I'm gonna be working on. Now, in this case, I'm gonna work on this little section right here. So I'm gonna just gonna spray directly. And this is gonna pre-saturate the area. This is gonna start breaking down all the dirt and grime that's uh, caught within the fibers. And then I'm also gonna grab my spinner drill brush attachment right here. So I'm gonna be using the power of my drill to do the work for me. Now I can do this by hand. I can also show you guys by hand as well. I'll just grab a brush and show you guys uh, in a bit. But I wanna show you guys how easy it is when you have a power drill at home and with the spinner drill brush attachment. So as you guys can see, it hooks right into your standard uh, power drill and it spins and it does pretty much all the work for you so that you don't have to do it manually. So pretty nifty, gets the job done quick and efficient. So I'm also gonna spray some of my fabric clean directly into the fibers of this brush for some added cleaning power and just so that it glides through the fabric a little bit smoother. And then all I'm gonna do is pretty much go left and right, kind of just like you're polishing, left, right, up and down, linear motions. And we're just gonna go ahead and break down all that dirt and grime, come back with the microfiber towel, wipe it off, inspect our results, and we'll go from there. All right, so once you're done working the brush on the surface, what you wanna do now is grab yourself a microfiber towel. And the key to this cleaning is that you wanna extract all the dirt and grime that you just uplifted. So with this combination of products, it loosens the dirt and debris and any kind of body oils that are caught within the fabric. The brush kind of helps knocks it loose. And then all you wanna do last is just grab a microfiber towel and give it a gentle wipe down. And this is gonna help you pick up any of the dirt and grime that you've extracted. Now, if you do have a professional carpet extractor or anything like that, I do highly recommend that you use that as well if you do have it available to you. And that's just gonna furthermore just pull out the more embedded stuff on the finish. Now, in this case, it's not too bad. So a general purpose cleaning like this is more than enough. Now, right now, I know it looks a little bit dark and that's simply because we just sprayed it with, you know, the liquid and it's gonna darken the color. However, once it dries up, you're gonna see that it restores the bright finish of what this material should look like. 
So right now what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to finish the top half of the seat and then we're going to move on to the left side over there and show you guys a different cleaning procedure for the more heavier dirt. Alright guys, so we're over here on the left side now and as you guys can see, the spots and the stains that are on this side, they're a little bit more severe than what we saw on the right side. The right side was more general grime, this is more specific stains. So for something like this, you can go with a product like Lightning Fast. And Lightning Fast is great because this is a stain extractor. So for those of you guys that ask, you know, what product would be best for my fabric and upholstery, it really all depends on how dirty the material is and the material itself. Now in this case, Lightning Fast works great for spot cleaning and that's exactly why I like using it. So for stuff like this, I can literally just spray directly onto the affected areas. And this will act as some added cleaning power. As you guys can see, it has a nice foamier texture as well. And we can pre-saturate these areas. I mean, as far as the rest of the seats, you know, you guys can see that it's just kind of like the, the right side over there. It's not too bad, so we can just clean up the rest of this with fabric clean and then just primarily work these areas with the lightning fast. So right now what I'm going to do is just slightly spray the area. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing as I did before. Spray some of my lightning fast onto my brush right here. And then begin to agitate these areas. All right guys, and just like that, we just wrap this little section up. As you guys can see, those little spot stains are completely gone and we're just gonna wrap this area up by giving it a wipe down with our mic fiber towel. And check it out you guys, just like that, we extracted all those stains, they're gone, and now we can continue with cleaning the rest of these seats without having to worry about these stains. Now one other area of focus right here is the armrest. So you guys, I did mention earlier, check this out you guys, you can see a broad, like broad daylight. Right here you have this lighter color, on top you have this more dirty color. This is pretty much because, you know, people's arms are right here. So we're also going to clean this section as well. So what I'm going to do is spray some more lightning fast on this affected area. I'm also going to get this right side as well because on my end you can kind of see it pretty bad. And then just simply work it in with their drill brush. Alright guys, so now that we're done, same thing, just wipe it down with the microfiber towel. And like I mentioned, if you do have a carpet extractor, you can use that. That definitely does help a lot in terms of extracting the more embedded dirt and grime. So if you're working on something that looks much worse than what you see here on video, then a carpet extractor would be a very great route to take as well. And check this out you guys, just from this little section, I know it's not a huge difference, but you'll see that the towel is bright yellow and right here you have more of a darker kind of look. That's all the dirt and grime just from this small section alone. So as you can imagine, all that stuff stuck in your fabrics, you know, you may not think about it, but it's very nasty when, you know, you ha you're sitting and you're thinking that your seats are clean when in reality you have something like this lingering around. So don't roll around with dirty fabrics, pick yourself up a bottle of Lightning fast or fabric clean, whatever you need and get your fabrics clean today. All right guys, so right now I'm just gonna continue with cleaning up the rest of the seats and we'll be right back with you guys once we're done. Alright guys, looks like we're all out of juice, which is perfect because I did tell you guys that I was show you guys how to do this by hand. So I'm going to show you guys how right now using our nice and stiff brush right here. Now, as you guys can see, this brush, it's nice and flexible. However, the bristles, they're nice and hard. Just kind of like the material of the uh, spinner drill brush. However, this is in a nice, cool, handheld form. 
So I already have the product sprayed. All I'm gonna do is actually just spray a little bit of product into my brush. And I usually just like doing this just because it does kind of add like a slickness factor. So it does kind of make it easier for you to just glide your brush left and right. I'm gonna show you guys right here, right now. All right guys, and there you guys have it. Quick, simple, easy fabric cleaning. Not a whole lot to it. It's just really just spraying, scrubbing down and you know, extracting as much dirt and debris as you can. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off this video here. I'm gonna let these seats air dry. They are still a little bit moist, but I do want you guys to see the final result while they're fully dry. So right now we're actually gonna do the second row of seats which are back there, which you guys may have seen at the beginning of the video or anywhere throughout this video, just kind of laid back there. So we're gonna go ahead and prop those up clean them up so that you guys can see those cleaned as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like. If you guys wanna pick up any of the products that we use today, including our spinner drill brush, make sure to visit our website, chemicalguys.com or swing by your local detail garage store. My name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage and I'll see you guys next time.